Hey everyone, with this video I want to share a few valuable tips and techniques to capture breathtaking landscape scenes with sunstars as a prominent element in the frame. Sunstars are a great way to make an otherwise boring scene way more awesome. And that's especially true when the conditions aren't that spectacular. Think of a cloudless sky during sunset. That is rather boring, but with a sunstar we can spice things up. So let's start right away with tip number one. This is by far the most important one. Because in order to make those sunstars visible in the first place, you have to shoot with the right settings, or so to speak, with the right aperture. As an example, shooting the sun with a wide open aperture would just give you a glowing blob. This might be cool for some, but that's not what we want to achieve with this video. Dial the aperture up to around f16 or higher and you can see a clear difference. Keep in mind, I had the best experience using something around f16, anything higher and the sunstar might end up looking a little bit distracting or strange. With the camera settings dialed in, let's go ahead with tip number two. Don't attach any filters on your lens when shooting subjects with the intention of creating those sun cells. As you're pointing the camera towards the sun, the external layer of glass on top of the lens will result in ugly light reflexes or lens flares. Those are super hard to clean up and just don't look good at all. Plus, if your filter is slightly dirty, shooting against the sun will make those dust spots visible and you will end up with a dirty looking image. Speaking about lens flare, you can minimize lens flare by trying to position the sun right in the center of the image. This will directly result in less lens flare. You can test that out by just placing the sun more towards the edges of the image and you can immediately see a difference with much, much more visible lens flare. Of course, positioning the sun right in the center isn't always an option but there is another cool trick that can help you to reduce that lens flare. First, you gotta make sure to shoot from a tripod. Frame the photo and then just press the shutter. And then we want to get a second image right away. Now, without moving the tripod or the camera, try to cover the sun using one finger. And then press the shutter. This obviously will block the sun from entering the lens and thus we will end up with a super clean image. And then all that's left to do is we just have to combine those two images with a little bit of masking in Photoshop. So that's super easy and will have a great impact on image quality. Tip number five is all about the positioning. For a truly beautiful sunset, you want to have the sun partly covered by an object. The great thing is this can be anything from a tree branch to flowers or to just a hill. Here it's important to keep in mind the smaller the opening through which the sun is shining, the sharper later the sun star will look on your image. So before putting your camera on the tripod, just walk around the scene with the camera handheld and look for a good position. Once you find a good spot with sun stars visible of course, you can then place the camera on the tripod and start shooting. Tip number six. Shooting sensors like this requires a huge dynamic range later when editing the image to get a good image quality. To make your editing life easier and really assure best image quality, I highly recommend to make use of exposure bracketing. This is nothing else than a shooting HDR. So you take one shot for the shadows, one shot for the highlights, and then we have a middle exposure. Those three or more shots can later be combined in Photoshop, and this will just net you a lot higher dynamic range. This is super important since we're shooting against the sun, which is super bright, and we will probably have a few darker shadows in the image as well. So using the HDR technique will give you greater image quality. And last but not least, tip number seven, you have to choose the right lens. Generally speaking, using a wide angle lens will give you the best results. And I'm talking about something like 11 to 16 millimeters. But here it's very, very important to keep in mind shooting against the sun like this, especially with longer tele lenses or longer shutter speeds, can and will damage the camera sensor by burning it. 
And I don't think I have to mention it, but please, please, please don't look through the viewfinder searching for the sun. Otherwise, you might end up blind. So don't do that and your eyes will thank you. All right, that's it for this video. I hope those seven tips were helpful and will make your next photo adventure more successful. If you have any questions left, as always, feel free to ask in the comments and thank you so much for watching this video.